everyone. Chinese New Year is fast approaching. So today I've invited Martin. Hello everyone. Who is a Chinese teacher and he'll be telling us about the story of how the 12 Chinese zodiac signs were selected. So long long time ago, the Jade Emperor wanted to choose 12 animals to form the zodiac. So he held a contest that involves crossing a river and the first 12 animals to arrive at the Heavenly Gate will be selected. So the order of the winners goes like this. Red, Ox, Tiger. Wait, but why is the rat faster than the ox and the tiger? That's because the rat jumped into the ox here as they crossed the river and jumped out just as they arrived in front of the emperor. No wonder the rat came first place and the ox came second. So next came the rabbit and the dragon. Did the rabbit jump on the dragon's back? No, in fact the dragon had to carry out his spring summoning duties, so that's why he arrived late. Oh right, Chinese dragons don't breathe fire, but instead they can summon rain and they live at the bottom of seas, just like in Journey to the West. Well exactly, because the dragons in China are not like the Game of Thrones dragons, so that's <laughs> why they are different. And next is the snake and the horse. I know this one, the snake crept out of the bushes, the horse got scared because it was overtaken. Right. Then the sheep, monkey and rooster paddle across the river together in a raft. And here comes the dog, the star of 2018. He was enjoying a bath in the river. That's why he only came 11th, just before the pig, even though he's a great swimmer. <laughs> so our question for today is, how long can the dog bathe in the river before he has to swim to the shore at full speed if he wants to catch up with the three animals on the raft? Assume that the animals on the raft travelled for 30 minutes at an average speed of 20 meters a minute and the dog can swim at a speed of 15 meters a minute. Hmm, so shall we figure out the total distance first? Yes, that's right. So the formula we can use to connect speed, distance and time is if we just draw a triangle, um, we put distance on top, speed and time on the side, then we can easily connect them. The distance is calculated by having speed times time. And so in this case, we have a speed of... So it should be 20 meters? Yes, that's right. So our speed is 20 and the time is... 30 minutes? That's right. That will give us a total distance of 600 meters. 600 meters, exactly. Next, we want to work out how long it would take the dog to swim 600 meters. Um, so the dog can swim at the speed of 50 meters per minute, and then that will be 600 meters uh, is divided by 50, I assume. Yes, that's right. So in order to find the time, we will have distance divided by speed, which is 600 divided by the speed of 50. 50. And so that will give us 12 minutes. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a bonus question today. If you have a square piece of paper and you want to make an eight-sided Chinese paper cut out of it, how many times should you fold the paper? Um, that's actually a little bit complicated, so can I try? Uh, so that's... Please, I'll get my Well, four times, is that...? Four times, yes, that's right! <laughs> well, if you fold four times, and then draw a pattern on it and cut it out, you will have the pattern repeated eight times, like this. Oh, well, that's really interesting, <laughs> yeah. So you see it's eight-sided, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. I really like the pattern. It's like stars and with this spread paper, it's very Chinese New Year. Yeah, does it have any special meaning? I guess it's just good luck because, you know, red is the uh, lucky colour in Chinese culture. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just good luck. Yeah, and it looks good as well. So you can stick it on your window or maybe just on your desk. It looks good. So some of you might notice the Chinese word Fu is written upside down. Martin, can you tell us why? Well, there is a special meaning in it. So Fu in Chinese, that means um, lucky. And then to say, to put it upside down, that means Fu Dao. That means luck has already arrived. So it is good luck in um, Chinese. So that's why people put it like this. Thank you, Martin, for explaining it to us. We wish you a happy Chinese New Year. Gong Si Fa Tai.